Okay, we'll have to get cold. Everybody in. <laughs> Me too. Okay. Everybody in. All right, we are in St. <laughs> Petersburg, Florida, and we're here with Rolly. Hey, Nicole, <laughs> and this is Tamara. So Hi. this is Liz. If you didn't <laughs> and already Liz know. <laughs> and so Rolly, Nicole was wonderful enough to let us come hang out with her for the day. So if you don't know her, she is like the so most much. famous <laughs> dread lady yes. on, on Instagram <laughs> and soon to be TikTok. <laughs> right. And she's gonna give us a little studio tour. Yes, yeah, so come follow. Come see. All right. You're on YouTube. <laughs> come on in, guys. <laughs> All right, welcome to my studio. I didn't even clean up for you. <laughs> so here we are. This is where the magic happens. Where the magic happens. So different services that I do are ultimately endless. <laughs> um, you can get a dreadlock wig made, it's just in time for Halloween. You can get individual dreadlock extensions that are made from synthetic hair and they're braided into your loose hair for a temporary style. And I also do human hair dreadlocks uh, and dreadlock extensions, which these are like old and used, but <laughs> you'll still get the idea. Those wigs up there are to be dreaded, but that's Snooki and then the Spice Girls and then Kylie Jenner once wore a navy blue wig, so I had to go buy one. <laughs> These are my dogs, they're, they're my whole entire life. That's Egg and Shenzi. They're the sweetest little angels ever. Just somebody off Instagram was like, can I paint your dogs and give it to you as a gift? And I was oh like, God. yes. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. Here's some products that I carry. Dolly Locks line, and then I love Malibu, and I love lots of art, so, you know, just continuing to add to my art collection. This was actually um, painted for me by one of my clients, Dave, and he did it while I was doing his hair, which was like really impressive. So that's cool. All right, well, I think we all wanna know more about how this lady became so successful. So let's go find a good spot. Cool. And she'll tell us our story. Awesome. Her story, not ours. <laughs> I don't know. I love her. I've always wanted curly hair. I can't with you. I don't think it's yes. on the Oh my god. Yes. I've so always hard. wanted to be a little weird. Okay. Oh my god, look. I, I just had a client came. No, guys, I don't know. <laughs> you know we're, no, we're for funny. Like, just for like, one second. Like, Call me Trim Reaper. <laughs> and, actually, maybe like that one. <laughs> you do you. Whatever feels like. Oh, yeah. This is it. <laughs> I'm turning that into the thumbnail. <laughs> Oh, that's what we should do, guys. Let's all do a little like bathroom <laughs> selfie. We're dreads, you know, right? Oh. <laughs> I'm videoing. <laughs> this is hey guys, I'm Nicole, also known as Roly or Roly to the Sky on Instagram. Um, I'm located here in St. Petersburg, Florida, but I'm also traveling around all the time, so you might catch me in a city near you. I specialize in dreadlocks, and I love every minute of it. I started doing dreadlocks. Uh, by making like synthetics for my own hair because I always wanted to have dreadlocks but my parents didn't let me wear them so as soon as I moved out of the house and went to college I was like how can I put dreads in my hair but take them out by the time I go home so I started making synthetics and um, I was working in a salon at the time so a lot of people were seeing me wear them and asked if I could make them for them uh, so then I started like making dreadlock sets and putting them in people's hair and more and more people started getting them and before you know it I was making them for everybody. <laughs> I taught myself by looking at YouTube videos and just like watching different people's technique and buying some fake cheap synthetic hair and getting a crochet hook from Joanne's Fabrics and just like going at it. Um, then like I think just with time it evolved and I got better and like started to find my own technique that works best for me. I've always seen dreadlocks as a form of art. When I first was like getting into it, I wanted to find ways to jewel them and wrap them and make them colorful and change the color out. Um, so I think that that's kind of like my signature look, like Rolly Lock signature look is the yarn wraps and the beads and all of the the fun adornments that can go in them. What I love about doing dreadlocks is that even though everybody's really diverse, 
we all have like a common bond which is that we have locks and what I've I've also found is kind of like our thinking is all the same really open-minded people really caring empathetic people but also like a little wild <laughs> and a little rebellious um, music lovers oh my gosh there's so many cool things about dreadheads and I think that's probably one of the best part about the best part about my job is that I get to work with such cool people and I get to meet such unique people and and since it is such a commitment you're stuck with me <laughs> so we we become family I mean I've you know been doing some people's hair for three four five years and you, we just become family which is so awesome okay so a lot of people want to ask me about Instagram because like thankfully I have a lot of followers <laughs> um, but I think that that all kind of happened I will never forget the day that I started my Instagram I was working in a salon and I remember saying I'm gonna get 10,000 followers I want the 10k like just watch and so I was just determined like from the jump so of course like I use like hashtags and um, tag brands and like companies and all things like that but I would reach out to influencers and I would reach out to like celebrities and ask if I could make them some dreadlocks and ship them to them or put them in their hair and then the more people that agreed they would share my work and then my followers went up and then really at, by that my portfolio was just growing and growing which has allowed me to work with some really cool people. Do you care if I video a little bit of us working? Yeah. <laughs> I'm visiting, I'm Liz. I'm Keith, nice to meet you. Nice, to meet you. nice to meet you. All right, so I'm very excited. Rolly is gonna let oh. me help on one of her clients. I have to, I heard you talk here to we Kevin. go. So much fun working with Rolly. As dreadlock artists, we are super spread out around the world, so it's pretty rare that we actually get the chance to like meet and connect with other stylists. Even though our techniques are similar, they do still vary a little bit from person to person. Everybody's got their own style, so it's really fun to be able to like share with each other like different techniques and inspiration and ideas. Nicole truly is an artist. She is so good at what she does, and on top of that, she is just a wonderful human being. I feel really grateful that she welcomed me into her space for the day. Okay, we're done. It's me and wrap. Tamara gotta go, because it's effing late. <laughs> we get a flight in the morning. Thank you for letting us do your yeah. hair. <laughs> Thank you for coming and hanging out with me. Thank you for Have having a day day ever. <laughs> It was a great day. Bye, guys. Um, oh, I have. I live in St. Petersburg, Florida. This is so bad. I'll crop that out. We already said that. Good thing I'm wearing underwear. It's because okay, hold on. I'm start over. No. Nope. So okay. Um, Damn it! Why didn't I get that on camera? Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my You're god! An I got such a great little shot of your mouth. That's okay, you can, um, you can restart. This is so big. So what's your favorite food? Any, like, pho or pho. Any Asian food. Soup. Um, Thai. Soup. I, <laughs> I love soup. <laughs> I literally love soup. And we live in, well, I live in Florida. Y'all yeah, It's live too in fucking Florida. hot here it's for so soup. Hot hot here. I'm sweating. With us in the cold. Yeah, <laughs> but that's my favorite food. 100%. Um,